Hey guys, how's it going? This is Cross, and we're back again with Road to Commander Part 15. Uh, I thought I'd redo this commentary because when I actually first did this, um, I felt like it's a little bit old now, and I just wanted to come back through and go through it again and kind of update you on what's going on right now. Um, give you just some insight on what I've been doing, what I plan to do as well. Um, I was going to post this video, I don't know, like three, four days ago, something like that, but I have been completely obsessed over Battlefield 3. I don't know what it is, um, just something something new, and it's just fun. Um, I'm really burnt out on Modern Warfare. Like, I just really am, but I, I still play it occasionally, but right now I just want to get another episode of Battlefield 3 stuff up and just kind of have some fun there. Now, I was going to upload a sniper gameplay, and it was a live commentary, but... Um, I went back to go look at it, and it's gone. It's like, the file is there, but it's just a black screen. So somehow, when it rendered out, it did not render properly and only has the audio, which is kind of annoying. Um, I don't really think I can get it back. I'm going to try to recover the old file, but knowing me, it's probably gone with how much stuff I actually end up going through. So, sorry to disappoint you guys. But I was going to talk to you about a few things before I get into the actually like the main topic. Uh, Crossfire Episode 5 is done, and I'm going to be kind of lenient on when I tell you guys it's going to go up on phase. If there is an Ill Cams episode or a Ill Feeds episode that's going to go up anytime between now and the 13th, it's going to push my video back to the 14th. Um, my video is set to go up on the 13th on phase, October 13th, and you guys will probably really enjoy that one. Um, there was, the editing is really solid on it. I had Duality edit it, and it's just really cool. Um, I was pretty happy with it, really. And there was only one mistake, just one little mistake about, uh, one shot that ended up being another quad feed didn't get put in there. But it's no big deal, because the editing is awesome, and it just makes up for it. So I'll let you guys know where it's at so you can actually see it. But, um, other than that, that's one of the projects I have finished. Um, I do have Crossfire episode 6 being worked on now, and I also have another montage. I think I'm going to call it Genesis, unless you guys have some better ideas. Um, I figured I would just, like, Genesis is technically, like, the beginning. Um, I guess it's kind of the way I want to refer it to, um, and go with that. I don't know, it kind of fits my name, too. Just kind of weird if I stick with all these, like, religious themes. I don't know why. But I just, I don't know, <laughs> it's just kind of weird. Um, I'm not religious, but if I go with that, I think it would be cool, because then I can actually have, like, the next set of names or something like that for Modern Warfare 3. But it's basically going to be all my Modern Warfare 2 clips. Everything, and it's just going to be awesome. Um, I believe I'm going to, last I talked to Eskel, he has a few more projects, but other than that, he's going to get started on it. Um, and it should be out way before Modern Warfare 3, but um, we'll get there. Now, I do want to talk to you guys about... Um, Battlefield. Battlefield 3. Um, it's the beta. It's glitchy. We gotta live with that. And just be glad we get a beta, unlike Call of Duty, where we don't get betas, apparently, because no one gives a fuck about a beta. I don't know. Uh, we don't care about finding glitches before the game is released, I guess. Um, I'm really hoping that they don't drop the ball with this one like they did with Modern Warfare 2. Um, when you had a problem with explosives, when you had a problem with, like, Commando or something like that, Commando is whatever, it's fine. Okay, I can deal with that. But when you have this demanding community of saying, hey, fuck off with a noob tubes one-man army, that's bullshit, patch that, and they don't even care, oh, it's annoying. But when I look at a company like Treyarch, and I see that everyone's complaining, like, oh my god, the sniper rifles are terrible, blah, 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 and then you see, like, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll work on it, and they patch it once, and it's like, no, 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 they're still bad, so they patch it again. No, 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 they still suck, so they patch it again. I think they put out four sniper rifle adjustment patches, so... If Modern Warfare, with Infinity Ward, technically, like, drops the ball with, uh, Modern Warfare 3, I'm gonna be pissed off. I really am. But, will I still play it? I don't know. Maybe. But it's just one of those things I'm not looking forward to if it's stressful. But it looks like Modern Warfare, it's gonna, it kinda looks like it's gonna be, uh, Modern Warfare 2.5. Like, it's gonna be the Modern Warfare 2, it, uh, it should have been, really. Like, Modern Warfare 3 will be Modern Warfare 2, like, the way it should have been without a lot of bullshit, hopefully. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, but I do want to kind of address something. There is a video that went up about a uh, competitive player playing uh, Counter-Strike Source, and then he got on Black Ops, and he started dominating, and he was trash-talking a bit. But here's the thing, guys. If you take a competitive player 
and you put him in a pub server on Call of Duty, which is just a run-and-gun shooter, yeah, you're gonna fucking stomp bitches. If you're a professional gamer, that's your job, and you play Counter-Strike, good God, you're gonna stomp little kids. Like, look at the type of people that you play um, in Call of Duty. I want to say, like, the average age of people I play are, like, 13 and 18 years old, maybe. You know, there's a few older ones, but not very many. It's usually in that range, that younger teen range. Now, if you take a professional player who plays a game that's 11 years old and he does this for a living, of course he's going to stomp the shit out of you. If he doesn't, he's a terrible player. But I do notice this transfers over to Battlefield 3. Like in the beta, I've noticed that a lot of the Call of Duty players, like really, in the sense of just run and gun, get kills, you know, whatever. Um, oh, I can respawn, no big deal. They just walk around and just do stupid stuff that you should never do. Um, like they don't try to you know, get behind cover when they're getting shot at. They just run out in the open where they shouldn't. Um, they don't worry about the objective as much, and I, I noticed that transfers from Call of Duty. Um, but I just kind of wanted to get that out there about the professional side of it. Um, when you play a game and you actually start thinking about strategic plays, um, that's kind of where that comes from. And I'll link that video because, you know, he had a lot to say, and a lot of it's something I can agree with. But um, that was just my quick rant and opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Anyway, guys, this is Cross, and I'll see you later.